Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, to be completely honest, I was not planning on doing a video today, mainly because of this wind. But, I need to complain a little bit. I have a pest that has come back again. Now, I've done two videos on peppermint and how once you get it in the ground, in your soil, in a garden, in a raised bed, you can't get rid of this doggone stuff. So, and it's come back again for me. So I wanted to show that, but I also want to not really complain so much about peppermint for one reason. I'll show that in a minute, but first let's check this, let's check out this peppermint. If you look right behind me, I've got peppermint growing again in this bed right over here. Now, if you all have seen those other videos, you know I did everything I could to try to get this out of here. Uh, and if you leave one little root, one little root of this peppermint or spearmint, any kind of a mint in your soil, it, it will grow back. It is quite literally a weed. But let's look at this. As you all remember, this is the pineapple sage plant right here. I don't know why it's leaning forward so much. It usually doesn't do that, but this is the problem. This peppermint has, that, that is all peppermint. Every bit of that I try to get rid of. And if you all remember that other video, which I'll put the link in right here, it was all the way across this bed, completely covered it. And I thought I had it gone, but there's peppermint. Again, there's peppermint. I swear, you just can't get rid of it. But... If y'all are, let's go look at the peppermint over here. Now, <laughs> this peppermint is way, way bigger. <laughs> okay, all of this right here, everything with these little white flowers on it is our peppermint. And then I have peppermint right over here and right over here. So when I planted this, this garden, I planted a bunch of peppermint thinking it'd be a great thing to do. It's not. You cannot get rid of it once it's in the ground. But I'm going to show you the, the added benefit to having the peppermint here, which actually kind of surprised me if I'm going to be completely honest with you all. Now I'm going to try my darndest not to get stung, but there are so many pollinators just everywhere on these plants, on these flowers. I mean, look at them. There, there are just numerous. As you can see from right there, the peppermint, when it flowers, it brings in every bee you can imagine. Like, there's bees out here I've never even seen before. Seriously. And they're everywhere. Now, <laughs> I might jinx myself, but when I'm out here in the evening, this area is crazy swarming with bees, but I have not been stung once. Not one time. And I walk right through, right through that area constantly. And I ne have not been stung yet. Now, again, <laughs> I probably just jinx myself, but if there's any silver lining to having the peppermint growing the way it is and me just letting it go to flower and do its thing, it's for all the bees and the pollinators because all of my flowers around here have been pollinated. Like I've got stuff that hasn't been growing that are finally growing. Flowers that are finally getting hit. So again, silver lining, the flowers on the peppermint. For All right, sure. everyone. So this was going to be a short video. I just really wanted to show the peppermint that is still here, <laughs> the added benefits of this peppermint. But more importantly, how many of y'all remember this video right here? I don't know if it'll affect them. I don't know if that's going to keep them from growing. But if they did put a root inhibitor on these potatoes, 
that company really needs to get a better root inhibitor. Cause, cause look at this. These are the potatoes, right here. I mean, look at that. Look at that root. And just look how bad these things look. Is we are going to plant these three horrible-looking potatoes over there in that bucket. Cover them up. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I just checked that pot, or I'm sorry, that bin, and this is what I found. As you can see right there, all of this is new growth from those pantry potatoes. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter how bad they look, apparently if potatoes have the roots on them they will grow okay so if y'all remember I did say that I thought something would grow if I had to bet I think they're gonna grow they might not grow really good but I think we're gonna have growth come up out of the ground I don't know um, I'm excited to see though now it is growing they are growing and if you can't tell I'm very excited because I didn't think anything would happen honestly and truthfully I really didn't think anything would happen but they're growing. Now, whether they're going to put on big tubers and actually produce big potatoes, I don't know. I mean, we'll know in a few months, but the fact that those nasty, jacked up looking potatoes are actually growing is just shocking to me. And I'm excited. So I didn't want to wait until August's uh, garden tour. I wanted to go ahead and show you all right away when I first saw it, that there is life. They are actually growing. And that experiment, so far is successful so i'm excited about that all right everyone so that's the video again short video wasn't going to be long but I, I wanted to uh to show you all the peppermint and all those crazy bees and those potatoes i mean i got very excited when i saw those potatoes so okay so i know this was a short video but if y'all enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button hit that bell so you're always notified whenever i upload a video like share yeah, comment check out the facebook and instagram pages and as always everybody shine bright and harvest hard so as you all remember this is the peppermint state or i'm sorry the pineapple as you all Hit remember the like but <clears throat> hey everyone if you <clears throat> so hey everybody if you all enjoyed this video i know it was short but if you liked it hit the subscribe <clears throat> hey everybody i know okay so i know this was a short video but if you all enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button hit that bell so you're always notified when so i'm excited about that